Well, well, well. My name is Wayne Bolden. I'm the Speed King. Guess who's back in town? You got it right. The girls are going to be back in town this coming Saturday. That's right. It's the 17th of May down there at a quarter mile to go at Pimlico. Hey, Dave Rodman, one of my favorite all-time announcers uh, other than Trevor Denman out there in California, you know. But Dave Rodman, I just love the way he called races. And one of my favorite, if not my favorite, race caller. Hey, a quarter mile to go at Pimlico on Saturday. Oh, I mean, on this Friday. It is the Black Eye Susan. It is the grade two for the three-year-old babies, the girls. They're in town. My favorite racing, of course. Anytime I can get Philly racing, you know I'm happy. Well, it's a mile and the eighth in the Black Eyed Susan for sure. Hey, listen to me. It's uh, $300,000. These girls will be stepping a mile and the eighth. It's a full field. It's only eight, but it's go it should be a fantastic race. Hey, just like the Oaks, it is evenly matched race going in. And, of course, uh, it lends for the parity and the competitiveness. And you usually have fair odds across the board on Phillies and Mares racing, particularly on the turf and or the dirt. It doesn't matter. We're going to dial right into this field of eight. I don't think it's that big of a deal, but i got an opinion in here. And uh, Carposo, Carposo, the number seven. Well, I kept reading this race and reading this race. I plugged it into my database. The pace numbers on Caparso, Caparso is a very, very nice uh, pace numbers on this one. Well, Caparso, if you ask me, this three-year-old filly by Vino Russo is uh, sitting on a beautiful, beautiful race, if you ask me. If you look at the Santa Anita Derb, uh, the Santa Anita Oaks on, uh, I think it's all uh, April 6th, this horse ran at 12 to 1. Again, trained by Peter Erston, the smooth Tyler Gaffney is going to be in the arms. But if you go back and you look at the grade 2 Santa Anita Oaks on April 6th, well, it was a small fill that day, but it was some pretty heavy hitters in there. You know, Bob Baffert had Kenza in there, top, top three-year-old filly for him. And then there's nothing like you who won the race. Well, if you go back and look in this mile, there's a, I think it was a mile and 16 race. Well, Caparso uh, was sitting three wide. It was in the five post, I believe. Sitting three wide the entire tr uh, around the track. Around the first turn, around the second turn. Nothing like you saved all the ground, snuck down in on the rail. And this horse ran further than he had to. Now, I'm not sure how you be wide in a five-horse field. She had enough speed in the race just to make it dangerous where it hurt her in that case because there was some other speed horses like Kenza inside of her and it forced her to stay wide the entire entire mile and 16. Go back and watch the Santa Anita Oaks. This horse lost a lot of ground gave up a lot of ground traveled farther than most. Pace numbers are extremely beautiful on this horse. Uh, the speed figures are extremely uh, beautiful on this horse. Now coming back in 41 days, I think this is the fourth start of her career. She should be a lot better and learn something out of the Santa Anita Oaks, okay? There's no Kenzas in here. And there's no nothing like yous in here. Now, I still think Kenza, the Bob Baffert runner, is better than the stablemate, nothing like you. Because nothing like you, the one horse in the Santa Anita Oaks, got a perfect, perfect trick down on the rail. So I'm not mad at her beautiful ride by the rider there. But to me, this is the coming out party for the number seven horse, Carposo. Okay, so I hate the odds at five to two, but I can't get around it. You know, I'm going to make her my top pick for sure. I love the pace numbers. I love her overall speed figure in the race. I love the fact that Tyler Gaffleyon is taking over for Peter Erston. So, we you know, we know we're going to get a smooth ride and a heady ride for sure. Don't think she's going to be wide. Eight horse field, she should get out. She should be able to sit the catbird seat because she does have enough speed, which I believe hurt her last time, and sit behind the other speed in this race. Just she, she should let the number five horse gun song go and just sit behind that horse and, and Tyler makes his move. So our top pick in the black eyed, Susan. I'm gonna watch my girls. Hey, I like the number seven horse a whole bunch in here, and uh hopefully we can get a little bit better than five to two. The Number seven, a top pick 
in this year's Black Eyed Susan. Well, she better be getting up. I did mention a gun song who is uh, the, uh, the speed of the speed in the race. Well, this one is a gun runner Philly for sure on the back end by Mr. Greeley. That's very, very speedy. Uh, Mr. Greeley was a great sprinter, I believe. Well, the number five horse is installed at nine to two. That is beautiful odds on the number five with the probabilities uh, to win this race is like 22-23%. That may be the value in this race, the number five horse, because, hey, listen, this one's going to try to get to the top. Mark Henning is doing the conditioning. You got Johnny V in the arm, so you know he knows with them sweet hands, them Hall of Fame hands that Johnny V has. The number five horse has uh, two wins from five starts, one second and one third. Speed figure is equivalent to Cor Corposo, the number seven. They are actually identical. They both have the same kind of pace and speed. So I just hope that they don't get into a ding-dong thing here for sure. But the number five is a top, top win contender in here. And pound for pound, the odds... That's probably the one you should get if it's 9-2 to two because that, at that case, it really is an overlay on the number 5. We like the number 5 equally with the number 7, Corporoso. I'm good with those, just those two. So our second pick and a top, top win contender in here, that girl, Gunsong, the old gunrunner Philly for sure. We're going to round it out. With my boy over there. Hey, Mr. Asmussen, our trifactor. Let's complete it. Here's another speedster for sure. Hey, Recharge, the number eight. To me, again, outside, there's other speed inside of Recharge. This one may be in the position that Car Carparso was in the Santa Anita Oaks. Might be hung wide, uh, two or three wide going into the first turn. You got Joel Rosario in the arm for Steve Asmussen. Well, this one is another gun runner for sure. And on the back end by Tappet. Come out of the fantasy stakes behind that old Kentucky Oaks winner, Thorpedo Anna. Matter of fact, she was 22 to 1 that day, recharge going in. Took him to the half mile pole in the fantasy and just faded all the way back. Christian Torres was in the arms. Now you get the, uh, the services, services of Mr. Rolex, Mr. Rosario. You're going to get a Rolex ride. But this is the other speed. So really, the seven, Corposo, the number five, Gun Song, and the number eight. They all have enough speed to just go out and contend. Hey, it wouldn't surprise me if these three was draped across the racetrack 70 yards from the gate going into the first turn of this mile and an eight contest. I hope that don't manifest, but it could. The number eight horse out the gate is just as fast as the number five and the number seven for sure. Our third pick, Recharge, with a great record. Three wins from four starts. Hey, can't shake no stick at that. This one is on the improve for Asmussen. I wouldn't leave these this one off my exotics for sure. Seven and two is a little short here, but the people aren't stupid. They see it's Asmussen. They see it's a gun runner. They see the horse came out of the race with Torpedo Anna, the Kentucky Oaks winner. So our third pick, recharge. Now we wanted to round this thing out before our super factor. Well, you could use a couple horses, I think, underneath. I'm going to go to a long shot. To the, well, not a long shot, but how about the number six horse, right? Who could, who, who could ask for Mo? Who could ask for Mo? Hey, we got Louis Saez. It's, hey, the old Clema, uh, um, uh, Shug McGahee is doing the conditioning for sure. This three-year-old filly is by Uncle Mo for sure. Bernardini on the back end. This one's been banging heads in the Gazelle and the Donovan Dell stakes and hasn't hit the board since February. I wouldn't be surprised if the number six horse runs underneath somewhere for sure. Anybody could get four. We're going to put the number six horse there at six to one for sure. If you needed another horse to put underneath, hey, you know, in your exotics, I don't think Lemon Muffin can win the race. I guess they're touting her pretty good. But the number three horse you probably should use in your tries and super factors. Very, very short price on Lemon Muffin at four to one. I don't like that price. It's 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 the coach. So the two horses in the super factor use the six and the three underneath. I don't think either one of them, I wouldn't say the six couldn't win it, but I don't think Lemon Muffin can win this race for sure, right? But 
you know, these are the girls that are in town. So there is your black eye, Susan, for sure. Hey, to me, you're speaking. Corporal should get a, a better trip than got in the Santa Anita Oaks. Okay, I expect this horse to let the speed go. Right, Tyler, let the speed go. Uh, the five and the eight, uh, gun song, the five, the eight, recharge, and sit right behind them and then blow them away down the stretch. So our top pick is the number seven. Our second pick, which we love equally, and I love the price on the five at nine to two. That horse will be on my pick threes, pick four, pick five as well. The number five gun song, we round it out with the number eight in our tries, and underneath for the super to complete it, we're going to use the number six, the old who could have asked for Mo. And throw the number three in the super in the try underneath Lemon Muffin. Don't like that horse to win the race, right? For us, for sure, seven, five, eight, six, just like that. Go ahead and box it up. That's always the nice way to do it. But if I had to take two out of here, it would be just a seven and five to five and seven for me. I like Caparso a lot. I like the five because I love the nine and two. I just think that's a real big overlay on that horse. Five, seven, eight, six, just like that. Looks like it's going to be on the outside for the Speed King, for sure. Stay classy, y'all. There's your black eye, Susan. You know my girls. They're back in town. I like the seven. I like the five as well.